our last method we're going to talk about is increasing the size of an element already in the heap. So let's suppose I wanted to increase eight to suddenly be 46. If I did this, I've now violated my heap structure because the parent of 46 is now too large. So I need to do some swaps. I'm gonna swap 46 with 17. And now I'm still violating my heap structure because 46 is greater than 42. So let's swap again. We have 42 there and 46 here. And now I am no longer violating my heap structure because 46 is less than 48. Let's look at the code for this. The code for this is down here with what's called increase key. We're going to increase the value at a location in the heap. So the only difference between this and the code we did for insertion is where we are modifying. So here, rather than changing the size and then adding the element at the end, what we're going to do is take location i and set it equal to our new value k and then perform these swaps. This algorithm will run exactly the same as our insertion algorithm. So it should be in theta of log of n, where n is again the number of elements in the heap. So this is our last method. This doesn't seem particularly useful, but this method will be in fact a way of making some algorithms we look at later, like minimum spanning tree and shortest path, much more efficient. We will represent some things in those algorithms using a heap, and this algorithm will allow us to modify the elements in that heap in a very convenient way and guarantee very nice runtimes for those algorithms compared to some of the other implementations that we will see.